Hey there, I'm one of those hoarders with a big Steam library that doesn't play hardly any of it. I'm not one of those guys with a bunch of books trying to convince people I'm an intelligent gamer. Really, I'm just a vulnerable sucker that loves a good sell. Even if it's a yard sale full of your children's fridge art, long as I can get it for less than two bucks, I'll give it a few minutes to try and entertain me before tossing it into the uninstall pit. Though in this king's library, these scriptures can never be removed, only hidden like gay thoughts. Don't hesitate. Dive ash cheeks first into this clearance bin. To begin, we have Bat Yaw. It's the name of this here thing that will bring back bad memories if you were ever one of those rare weirdos that has had an encounter with a pet monkey. Nah, you'll be fine, because the kill animation isn't convincing me that I'm dead. So the plot is you're trapped in a storage facility with some naked bald guys. They may appear to have pants on, but I promise you it's jean skin. In your new home, you'll get to meet characters such as Hank, the drunk of explanation, Billy, the good old boy whose only friend is this corner, and then there is Buck. His torso is tainted with a wife beater infection, which means he's looking at us like we're not giving him enough pussy rations. Fear not. Remember, his genitals are denim. Still, you must escape to avoid painful friction burns. I probably should have said this from the start, but this game is one of those stay away from the monster and get to the exit types. You're given one hand and a choice between a brick and a hairpin. There is also a screwdriver, but it can't be used as a weapon since it's trapped in this lock screen. Go ahead, use your tools and wet to get out of here because I'm still stuck here. So once you do escape, come to my copy of Bat Yaw and rescue me. Then, me and you, we can go to Russian world. Something that plays like some computer training you're forced to do when you start a new job because you're fed a ton of useless information and every once in a while they ask you questions. In Russian world, the story is ridiculous enough for me not to have to make up my own. You wake up hungover in a hut and find out when you were drunk last night you sold your home for a beer, which is a wise short sell if you can trade said beer for some other boozy sucker's home while drinking it is a bad long-term investment. Fatherly advice aside, let me offer some highlights of what else happened. You stumble into events such as having a buff military vet for a grandpa that thinks you're cute, as well as seeing your fellow classmates pass the exams with still framed colors by posing like gangsters to intimidate their teachers. Then you get schoolyard generated curse combos and some bum that tells you not to join the Illuminati or the Flat Earth Society. Thanks for the heads up, buddy. Also, uh, thanks for showing me a bear drinking beer. I enjoyed that very much, but this face right here, not, not really, kind of scared me. Lastly, you go to prison, or perhaps I just made the wrong decisions on the coin toss of options. Now you get hit with the choice to suck. I don't know if that was referring to dick or getting snake venom out. This game doesn't make a lot of sense, and that's coming from me. Lastly, again, the Russian world stood still. I don't think I reached a checkpoint, so this life we live froze without preservation. Speaking of frozen, all right, shut the fuck up. Moving on to Arctic Boy, the interactive story. It has an intro that is one of those videos used on movie night to torture prisoners of war. When you die, it gets put on repeat. You'll have to bear witness to a wide open mouth, Reddit hookup, and mating dance. So how come Arctic Boy can do all that moving around, but merely walking in some snow will cause him to hyperventilate? And if he doesn't stand still to recharge his cardio, his heart will murder him. The only thing that makes Arctic Boy unique is that he can hear through windows. But that's not enough to help him find the damn sushi rolls. So yeah, I got stuck on the supermarket level and this cashier who looks like he'd fuck your mom in the 70s offered no assistance. I think this is the last not so American game on the list and it does it the best because there is no English translation except for words we share with the French. Well, I can't get past Jack in Town's tutorial. Bonjour. Merci d'avoir installé Jack in Town. Yeah, I picked a few pockets and met the parking garage merchant, but the fruit stand sequence robbed me of further progression. So let's go back and do some hardcore history. The character uh, Nosferatu is first introduced in the SpongeBob episode where Mr. Krabs keeps the Krusty Krab open all night to fund his Wrath of Malachi addiction. Yeah, the game is a one-time purchase, but you better have six months of expenses saved up before you give your life to Nosferatu. It's probably not a long game, but it's time-based, meaning you're gonna fuck up and let people die off-screen. So redos will happen. Man, I thought I loved the idea of dealing with survivors ever since playing Resident Evil Outbreak 2 of the Extendo Files, but now I remember how stressful the concept is. I'm having dead rising flash forwards if we're putting ourselves in the release year just to be complicated. Man, shut the fuck up! Anyways, this is gonna be one of those uh, bitches that will occasionally haunt me in my dreams. However, like most games I start, I don't feel like completing it right now or ever. That's up in the air. Alright, check out Mighty Vikings. What makes these Vikings so mighty is laser weapons. 
Plus, they got the world's least threatening golem boss fight displayed behind an invisible wall where it waits for you to use the remote catapult to turn on an episode of Tack and the Power of Juju, or whatever this cutscene is that you got me watching while I sit back and do nothing. On to the next one. Dude Simulator 2 is about being smelly and broke as possible. The only thing that works efficiently here is the booze. One beer will poison you and put a weight on your mouse. Though drunk driving stabilizes you, so it's a lot safer than walking. You can also get behind the wheel of a shopping cart. Maybe you'll flip this reversible shirt to reveal another map. An underground field where even the Ben Shapiro of shopping carts would be understanding of you not being able to return the vessel which brought you here. The most important thing I simulated with the dudes was when I used the cops as a we'll be right back screen while I went and burnt a pancake. I ain't never been hunting, I ain't never shot no damn deer, so I bought Dinosaur Hunt in hopes I'd get to build a bond with a caveman dad. Instead you're an empty face with a gun, alone in the wild. Here are some fun facts about Dinosaur Hunt. The game developer and the menu screen are the same person, the multiplayer is a series of tabs, and the campaign is an audiobook where you shoot dinosaurs. We were brought into a secret room far beneath the military base. Besides that, it's just a scam for Steam Achievement Hunters. Alright, peace be with you. I hope these games help you find happiness. If not, you can wait until the next video, you impatient sad sap. Oh, hey there. You want uh, some uh, cheap old little uh, Steam games, right? Well, sometimes you gotta clean your stove instead. If you want the allowance money, the, the five cents or whatever we are to pay for each of these Russian games, then, um, then then uh, just hit me up and I'll clean your stove. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, oh hey, hello. Um, but then uh, you got you got these. See these? You could use these too. If you sold these on the streets, then you could afford better games. I mean, not saying these games are bad. You know, just sucker shit. Just hey, I'm gonna play the game and make fun of it, yo, because it's bad. And it's made by like one or two guys. I'm not gonna be on that, man. I'm gonna give my honest and. It, Good opinions, even if they're dishonest, they're gonna be good opinions. And you think I'm don't, 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 we're not doing this again. I didn't, hey, <laughs> listen, I know that these look dangerous, but I wasn't gonna hit you, don't worry. <laughs> this, this is a safe environment, I promise you. Welcome to Bo Barber's Kitchen.